Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Vanilla TV for the second half of the match here between Crackline in the blue going up against Skidmark Central in the red. If you're just joining us, you missed an interesting first map. I, I, I think, Scully, I think that is the best way to describe it. A map where Skidmark Central showed a very solid first 15 minutes, but kind of lost control over the entire game straight after that. I'm absolutely surprised, like, literally, especially because I thought when we looked at it that they could pull a shock and beat them on their strongest map. You know, this is the this, uh, when you come, you got to look at Snake Water now, and probably that's where they're gonna pick up the map. But they they Crack Clan almost looked bad at one stage, and I'm surprised they did that. And one second, that's what I have for drinking coke during cast. Mm. And uh, I, just a few things. I was looking at the logs. I want to bring something up. There's there's a stat here: damage per death. Brago mm. damage per death was almost higher than the entire. Skidmark's yeah. team combined. I was looking at that as well. It's, it's Brago, Brago's damage per death, ladies and gentlemen, was a 1,317. Uh, he ended up having a kill per death of 33 by 7, with over 9k damage. Absolutely fantastic map going out of the German demo man. Staying alive for so long, he has less deaths than his medic. Um, which pretty much says enough, right? Some interesting um, stuff as well, actually. Uh, I was, when I was talking about the medic, there, there's a nice little point of the stat here, health pickups. Mm. And Two Nuts picked up 14, Skeet picked up 2. Yeah. Now, what does that <laughs> say? Does that say that either they're not picking up... Does that say that Skid Marks are exploiting the new medic? Or is that saying that Crack Clown are just destroying Skeet so fast that he can't even get... He can't even say Timbuk 2 before he can get to the med pack? Yeah, that's, that's... You know, there's always two sides of coin that you can look at it. One thing where we can only look at one side is Dalith. 5 to 20 that map. Um, he did a fair amount of damage, so I'm not going to be 100% critical of the, of the guy, but as a pocket soldier, when you only get 5 frags, and the enemy scouts have 29 deaths combined, as a pocket, you're not picking them off often enough, so Dalit is going to have to step it up. This is a map where pockets can really, really shine if you play properly with your medic. So if Dalit and Skeet stay together a lot with Cadus right there, I think, I think, I think there's something to get here for Skipmark Central. I and think he, so too. And even though, let's be fair, Dalit, he was 5 for 20, but Flisco, 15 to 27. Greg, 11 to 19, right? Like, no one really had a good game there. It was all Kyla, just a little bit scraping. Yeah, Kyler did, but Kyler always 27, does. 27, 19. You know, he was the only yeah, one that was trying to just, do anything for them. That's just what Kyler does. He just does a buttload of damage and kills a buttload of people, and that's that's what he does, right? So he's supposed to be there. And if you combine it, there's 38 frags and 38 deaths on the scouts of Skipmark. So the scouts... I think are safe, but if you look at the soldiers, I think the soldiers are going to be the guys. They need to get either the damage need to be more focused, or their kills. One of them just needs to hit a massive air shot from time to time because I don't think that has been happening often enough. As we can see, Skip Mark Central now on the second map, just preparing themselves here, and Crackland going to be doing the exact same thing. Crackland doesn't like Snake Water. I can tell you that, Scully. I um, I haven't spoken to any of them. I'm sure I'll speak to Ips soon enough. He's in the chat. Hi, Ips. How you he's, doing, he's, Ips? He's in the chat at the moment, yeah. But I think he's now stopped, but yeah. He was it, in the it's, chat. it's very clear. Crackland does not like this map. They're having trouble with middles. They're having trouble figuring it out. Figuring out exactly what the best way to play middles is. Especially when soldiers get up the high ground. So if Dalith and Flisco play from that top side, maybe with the help of one scout, like if you put Kyler for fun up there as well, or Greg, or either one, I think they might be able to take a lot of middles, and that's the start of having a good map in general, right, Scully? I think we all know that. Oh, yeah, definitely. And I'll tell you what, I am, I, what I want to do is, when we start this, I'd love to hear the comms straight away from the first yeah. mid, just to see how the confidence sounds. I think that's going to be the key, is I feel that they could be really confident. And I think, I mean, when we saw that, when we saw the last time he brought the comms up, you can see there was a little bit of stress, there was a little bit of confusion. Now they've won that map in such comfortable fashion. Bouncy back from 2-1 down to 7-2 win. Mm. I'd love to hear what they're going to do. Because I just feel that now now it's in their momentum. Maybe having such a great turnaround, maybe that could be a catalyst for something. I always talk about momentum. Momentum is such a strong thing in this game. And just maybe if you can just keep that ball rolling, even if the ball mm. shriveled up a little bit, keep it rolling again, they could get to a good start here. It's, it's, momentum is a thing that is not very often talked about in Cars, Scully, apart from you. Like, you bring it up all the time. And I think you have a great point with regards to that. Crack Clan, 
they're a team that can feel unbelievably good and play at their very best when they do. That is what Crackland does. They have a lot of relaxed people who like playing this sort of let's just go and frag style. I think if, if they go and play that style, though, Kyler's going to have something to say about that, and so does Cadus. Like, they're unbelievable fraggers. So if, if Crackland stays focused, like they are now, because right now they have the momentum, they are prepared, they're looking forward to this map, they're not liking Snake Water, but so far they got one win and are going to be looking to pick up a full four map perfect score so far. Um, we're going to have to wait and see. Like, they won the first game, 5-0, 5-0 against Revolution. Second game now, after being 2-1 down on Gollywash, one of their best maps, in my opinion. Now on Snakewater, they're going up against them after a 7-2 victory. And here we're going to go, ladies and gentlemen. As the good luck have funds are being called, the lots of binds are coming through. The game is going to go live here at Vanilla TV. As we have Crackland in the blue going up against the Skidmark Central in the red. The old BFF lineup in ETF 12 Season 15, powered by Blackout Gaming. And so we're going to go live here. Snakewater is the second map. The first map was Gully Wash in favor of Crackland. Now this second map is going to come out in Scully. I don't know what to predict, man. Here we go. Let's see what's going to happen with Crackland. Let's get straight to their comp. Looking forward. Then we'll the take. They're all back in the corner. All back in the corner. Crush them. Oh, Scully now. Scout alive. Please. And Medic went out. Chase Medic. He's get healed. Close. Crush them. Crush yep. them. What yep. did I say? What did I say about momentum? What did I say uh, about confidence? They're still chasing Crush speed them. as well. I don't think they're going to be able to. Oh, they are going to be able to get him. T Mac already on last. Uh, so <laughs> Skeech is going to be able to drop to the floor. Uh, the one thing I heard from Crackland on the stream earlier is that they have trouble initiating fights on middle. Right there, everyone went. I think that was the call, Scully. Let's just go. I think that was going to be the call. And they're going to be doing the exact same thing here on last. They have to fool your advantage coming in from bottom with boat scouts. Let's see what they're going to do. Scout rush straight away. No one's there to contest it. They're at all in their spawn. Heavy comes late. So when you're all in your spawn, what are you doing? You're just giving that point away. Yeah. Six with that, a 90, that's an 80 second round. Mm. And I can see the crush them in chat. Yeah. <laughs> that just says it all, doesn't it? Crush them. Yeah, but that's, that's what happened. And, and Crackland's going to try and do that again. I'm going to have a look at the soldiers. I'm going to go free cam across this now, Scully, because I want to look. What, kind of my what are, what are Ips and, and T-Mac doing specifically? Are they going to go from top? Or are they jumping around? I can see one up top. I see two up top. They're playing the top side at the moment. And you see how much spam is flying down on the reds there. Five people dying in the nick of time as the spam from Brego, Ips, T-Mac, and Samzy all connect into the exact same area and the crush him times two is coming out as uh, Crackland's gonna look to make a quick 2-0 out of this one. I feel sorry for Dalit. I don't know, whoever the, whoever the, the soldier was to bomb on straight onto two nuts. Mm. He got two nuts isolated and then put splash damage so two nuts could surf onto the small little house and, and stay alive. So two nuts was in one of the most safest locations he could be and that was just actually such a surprise. I mean, not see a pause. Everyone's just standing still at the moment. Yeah. They're going to go for this under again. Yeah, why not? It worked last time. Mm. Here comes the scout straight away, and they picked it up this time. There is a so heavy right there. Can they stop this heavy as fast as they can? <laughs> That's going to be the key. It's not. Flisco finally goes down. But there goes Twig and there goes Dallin. Are we going to see them re-enter again? Yes, we are. The both soldiers there trying to bomb. Not getting anything from it. Ips is on his own. Scout onto the point. That's a down man onto the point because of the times two. And... Once again, when you put someone, when you put a times two on the point, you react and go straight to the point, which, you know, just beats them. You know, just brings them into a small place and bunches them. This I time, hear, was a I want to hear Scully. I want to hear if they're still focused or if they're taking it easy. Go. Yeah, let's go. I fucking did three hundred to him, and I did also eight hundred damage to him. I think I did one one thousand dum dums. <laughs> dum dum. The boom booms around the corner. <laughs> boom. Someone gotta get sticky. Boom boom. Chopping now. Soldier on the walking over point. Soldier on breathing. Chopping now. Oh, I'm done. Demo is taking down. Soldier is weak. Soldier is weak on point. That's it, actually. Scout, uh, sorry, chasing you. Was that a bit too overconfident? Do you remember what I said before the game? If they get overconfident, there is a window for Skidmark to work with. They won two rounds immediately in a row. They were talking about boom booms more so than what they need to do. And when the Ips go forward call came in, they already lost middle. So that's pretty much exactly how it's going to go. It's a little bit too comfortable. And uh, Crack Clan, 
Right now, I think they're being put back with their feet on the ground. They're like, oh, uh, right, we're playing an official here. We need to win. Um, let's push. We have an uber advantage, and, and that's what we're going to see right now, Scully. Yeah, we're going to see that. They have still got the uber, like you say, so it's going to be interesting what they do. I'm experiencing a lot of lag. I think something's some happening in my house. Here they go now. They are just going to go with this, with the uber. And I'm going to see what I can as much as I can. Yeah, I do get... I am getting some lag at the moment, so I do apologize for this. I am seeing a back cap, though, but they oh! are times four. It just gets blocked at the last moment. Very well played there by Skip Mark. Getting the coordination done for the, for the, for the back cap, uh, the block and everything like that. And now... Now is when Correct Clan needs to focus. They need to be up there. They need to realize, okay, right? Boom Boom's done. We need to get this going, right? We cannot lose this. We're 2-1. It's still good, but we need to get back into the game. We're going to have to wait and see now. 2-1 is the scoreline. Correct Clan's still in that advantageous position, but Skip Mark is smelling blood. I can tell you that one. But the blood, too badly, is Flisco's. Oh, two nuts. Tuna's trying to surf away and got picked off by Dallas. That's not what they wanted whatsoever. And that was just it. They were in such a strong position. Team out with two of those. Cadence and Skeech. That could be a catalyst to do something right now. Does get taken down and Twig can't do anything. If you do something, Twig, oh my god. No, Twig, no. No, Twig. Oh. No, Twig. No, he does it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Twig, are Greg. you kidding me? Gregor's, 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 you don't have to go for a health pack if you're in a 2v1 scenario. Greg waited for a health pack. Kylo went in by his own, and then Greg came in, and Tweek just shot him down. Go away, Greg, as Kylo gets picked up as well. And Tweek going absolutely bonkers there, as he's going to be able to pick this one up. And it might give Crackland the momentum change that they need. And we, we were talking about this, Scully. Tweek is a guy that can change the game, can change momentum in an instant. That was it, right there. And I can presume that Crack Clan is going to be so aggressive right now. Skip Mark is just going to get so confused from this one. Oh, let's see what they go. They are going to have to pull away from this because they just don't have the numbers. Don't have the numbers and they just lose people. So, again, really safe bet. Really uh, safe bet because they're going to be able to get an Uber charge ready. Unless Crack Clan are going to dot this. They can't dot this. They're not in the right position. Soldier's going to bump through, get nothing. And there goes Cadus. Now comes the Soldier Bomb. What can they do? It's not many people and they're just going to have to trade Ubers. Uh, Skip Mark Central moving forward now. Six versus two scenario. Scout rushing last though. And, and Tafik is really doing what he's supposed to do there. Just getting someone out of the equation. Making them waste a lot of time. It's not going to work out though. And Cracklin, what are they going to do? T-Mac is the guy I'm keeping my, air, uh, keeping my eyes on at this moment in time, Scully. Because he's going to be the guy to try and get Skeet down. He sees Skeet. Drops back out though because he did get spotted into that window area. Scout's not rushing in. Boat soldiers are waiting. Someone needs to go and pick up two nuts though. Look at the aggression from Cracklin. They're liking this. They're liking Liking this a lot, but the defense from Skip Mark so far is splendid. Skeech, 150 HP, no problem whatsoever. And look how far they're going. Look at Kyler, and I think that is that. I mean, that's Dalif, isn't it? I don't know. Look how aggressive they are right now because they've actually gone straight through, well, well ahead, just to see what they can get. And I see a good 30, yeah, 30, let's call it 30% advantage. Twick, here he goes. Twig finally picked up the sniper rifle, tries to take out Cadus, isn't going to get anywhere, and Cadus denies any place for him to snipe. Mm. Brilliant by Cadus. Yeah, well played by that as Cadus locks him out. Tweak, still though, I said it before and I'm going to say it again, he's a guy who can clutch it. Let's see if he can's going to do it now. Skeech popping that Uber really, really early. Both Ubers getting taken out of the equation. Now dropping back, getting the hell out of there as fast as they possibly can. And Skip Mark might want to turn around onto this one. Crack Clan, not overextending. Let's see. No snipers. No spies. No weird things. All I can see and is 12 exactly people focused to try and make this work, Scully. Yeah, and this is exactly what Skip Marks. This works like what Crackland should have done when they were pushing and didn't do when they were pushing. You know, because they really just had to be a, take the U, but no, they couldn't go out and just go back. In fact, they lost too many people and could not use that tight advantage. And yet again, though, because Two Nuts ha hasn't been building. So we've now got. Oh my god, that's 20% advantage for skid marks. That's going to be huge in this fight. I don't think they know. I don't think they I don't know. Think they know though. Don't think they know though, which is the problem because if you I mean look, they could have dropped yeah, they're waiting. They they're waiting. Look, they have no idea that they actually have an advantage here. Quackla wasn't building. And uh Skeege and the rest of his team, they're going to wait for a pick. Like they're going to send in Flisco. It's it's a two man suicide. I don't I don't know how much I like the two man suicide. Like we've seen Broder do this with four 
Epsilon do it with three, usually. It's the two-man suicide, which I guess is the variant of Skip Mark Central. Not so much I like it. I think two men covering that distance, I don't think that's ever going to work. You're just throwing away players. They're going to spawn, though. No problem whatsoever. Cracklan going to try and get those Ubers out of the equation once again. Because Cracklan likes scenarios without Uber, right? We've seen it on Gully. We're going to see it on Snakewater. They like not having Ubers anywhere. Um, I'm going to have to wait and see. So far, Skip Mark looking absolutely fantastic. Are they going to be able to equalize the score? Let's see right now. I am curious, really, because I feel so it's going to happen. I am thinking about putting into the comms just to see. And in fact, yeah, there's it's with the spy. You know, what? I'm going to put the comms on just to yeah, see what's going to happen it. right oh, now. Soldier, he's aiming right at you guys. And I'm spamming him with pipes. Yeah. Step. Right. Nice. 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 I'm pushing. We're gonna switch and we can push. Wait, up here. Don't don't see you. Sticky's on the right, I think. I'm Where pushing. They pop. They used as well. I'm coming back. Lobby. They're trapping trapping us. Drop oh, no. down, soldier. Back to last. Yeah, we have to last. One's got up right side, right side. I got you. On top. No, no, no. Uh, Scott up right. left, only left. Eight HP, nice. It's a combo on the left. Fuck them. Then we'll slow them down. I'm walking in. Down lower. And Scott on me on the right. Come on, down. Let's go to Bright. Such a great turnaround there. Mm -hmm. And this, listen to how serious they are now. They know that they screwed there's up. There's no boom moves at that. No, there's no boom moves whatsoever. <laughs> Brilliant play as well. And I love how there was no reaction from, from Ips himself when he took the scout. Mm -hmm. There was just a call of knife, and then you both scouts were down. Yeah. Great pick up there, and that was that's, that's all they needed was just the two scouts that could that could really negate. Well, that's why they lost the round last time because of a back cap. I'm gonna give you the prediction that Crack Clan is on on Skip Mark's last in about 40 seconds or so. I'm gonna give you that prediction because I think the exact same turnaround we saw on Gully Watch twice. I think we're gonna see the exact same turnaround now on Snake Waters. Right now they're moving into moving into middle with the pressure coming out, with the players coming out. Two nuts is not gonna want to use this Uber. He might have to, but I don't. Nice. No, he's, he's going to be perfectly fine. Don't worry about that whatsoever. No snipers, nothing of the sort. The Swedish medic is going to be able to stay perfectly fine onto this one. And we're going to have an Uber versus Uber fight on second. And the question is, where does Crackline want to go on this? And it looks like they want to go through the... Uh... I, I don't know. I call it the right side. I don't really think there's a choke name for it or anything like that. They want to go through the big house. And that's what they're doing. They're going to be hiding up top. And of course, that's a good thing about staying up top. Because then you can drop down and go through the choke. Exactly what they've just done. A really early force pop, really early pop though. Don't liking that at all. They can't get anything. Trying to see what they can get. Known as a soldier. Trying to be aggressive. The scouts trying to be aggressive. Crackclan are playing it safe. Just making sure they're keeping two nuts alive. And that's helping them because Grey goes down. Blisco goes down. There goes Dallas. And of course, Gage get picked off from Brago once again. Brilliant play. They're just a game of patience. And I think Crackclan learned their lesson. I, I'm pretty sure somebody probably yeah. just went from the stream saying, Hey guys, I like your boom boom, but to, no, please, don't. <laughs> soldier oh, bomb. Oh, they've got to defend this. now. it's just one soldier up. Yeah, I there we go. doubt it. Sam Free is absolutely fantastic this map. I can tell you, Scully, that guy is on fire. And I don't mean a little fire, right? I mean fucking super fire. I didn't say that. I'm so sorry, as we can see right now. Crackland is going to move on here. 3 to 1 is the scoreline at the moment for the team in blue. The team in red is going to have to try and put something back here. Skip Mark slowly moving their way forward here. And we're going to have to wait and see. Can they be successful in this middle? They're too passive, though, I feel like. Key middle right now. Key middle on the match. Soldier Bomb once again onto two nuts. It works. Cadis goes down, and there goes it. Do you want to talk about passive? They were just waiting for the right moment. Look at it. They just completely obliterated. And I'm pretty sure that is probably the fourth middle in the row where the soldier's done the exact same bomb mm. onto two nuts. And I think it's, uh, I wouldn't call it the 80 20 rule. I think it's a 50 50 rule right now that either he gets him or he doesn't get him. And I'm really surprised at that. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, sometimes he's been getting him and it's just been the luck of the dice. Uh, so they've really got to pick on that. Like, when we saw them pushing into second Crack Clan last round. They were protecting two nuts, but they weren't protecting two nuts there. What happens on mid? Okay, so on Gully Watch, the one problem that Skipmark had was that whenever they pushed last, they walked into a brick wall and they couldn't break them. Ips now giving them a free pick. I'm not sure how much I like that. I think he was just trying to get an early force in. Skids and the rest of his team, 
They're so far away! Just go back, go in! You're 55%, alright, they are gonna be in time. It's a scout demo rush. I like that. I like that combination with an Uber Advantage. They need to get Samsy down. 100, now he's down, finally. Now the frag is gonna start. Six versus four should be enough to make this happen, but Cracklan again, turning it around. Brego gets two, T Mac gets one, Tveek gets one, Tveek gets two, and with it spawning, there is absolutely no way that Flisco can clutch this one out as Tveek picks up the hat trick. And again, they're hitting a brick wall right there and then when they have an advantage pushing last. That is the main issue that I can see coming out of Skipmark so far. Ips respawning was the key point there, and maybe suiciding actually helped them. I, I don't know, maybe it probably just rushed them out a little bit because they probably had a feeling. This goes down again, but. If, here comes the Uber right now, they're going to use the Uber, I think mainly just to keep a scout alive, or are they just going to go for a, a quick surprise? Because it's working right now, but the problem is it's 50% 50, uh, 50 Uber on Skeech, so they may be able to dominate and bully them off to the mid and take mid, and they are, that's what they're going to do. Now, you've got to look to skid marks and say, okay skid marks, knights to B5, or wherever the hell you put a knight, your move, don't move your pawn. Hmm. What's Kate is doing? I don't know, he's dying. That's all I see right now. Well, they, I guess it's it. working out for the team. Like you can see, right? It's a two for one exchange. Three for one exchange. Is Gregor's absolutely massive. Two liking the oh. oh my god, are you serious? Go in with Cadis and die. Apparently he's a valid oh strategy as Tveek god. gets the pick on the skeege. And again, it's it's the Tveek sort of syndrome, isn't it, Scully? Where you can just see as soon as the team needs him, he's right there making the shots that they need him to make. Oh, exactly, but I was surprised because Tuna's got an Uber Sword and it put him straight to 92%. They probably could have turned that round with just one more Uber Sword. That's just the game of chances. But he's negated all the Uber, and I'm thinking, am I going to call Crits Creek? No, still, Skeech. I don't think Skeech is known for Crits Creek. So that, that's okay. Tweak's still going to pick up the sniper rifle. If T Mac are down, but what's that? 20. 50, uh, but 20. No. Yeah, 20, let's call it a 20% advantage. Not much if Crack Clan start building, it's going to be nothing. And they're not really building, are they? No, they're not building. No. They're not building, which is not going to help them. And that's just going to grow again. It's yeah, it's still 20, though, which is the savior. And how, look how far forward they are, though. They want to go for this. I'm so confused. Like, skip marks should be holding top lobby right now and pushing as soon as they have 100. It seems like they're they're just they're waiting for something. I don't I don't know. Maybe like, they thought because like like they're, they're a hundred right now. And they're still sitting outside waiting for an ammo pack to spawn. It's a tie because like well in that in that there was about three seconds difference between eighty five percent. Two nuts is gonna have this. No yeah, problem but because because like Kai because the, maybe they can finally. I'll explain it later because they both have been popped off at the same time. Just when both medics died at the same time last time, and they managed to bully everybody out. This one soldier is just gonna get picked off. Finally takes down Dallas. Now, are there going to be a response here? Yes, there's a response straight onto Tunut. Can Tunut survive? He's going to surf away, and he does surf away. Finally takes down Frisco, and then goes Kyla. It's a double double suicide there for a medic. Did not work, but t -Mat does go down on the other side, going aggressive. And basically, I believe Crack Clan will take the star scout on the point for a times four, because the both scouts are going forward ahead. Not much the skip marks can do, and they are just going to take this. You give the respect to Twitch and Samsy. Uh, well played to the scouts from Crackland there once again. This might be something that Skipmark is looking for though, Scully. As Crackland now overextends, they can wipe them and maybe rush the last here straight off as Ips now goes down. Two nuts is being chased out of here, coming out from the bottom. And I feel, I really, really feel, nice oh, jump, unless go. Brego nice gets jump, something insane go. done. Yeah, okay, Brego got it insanely done. Completely locking out Frisco there. But... I think if two nuts would have gone down there, this point immediately would have gone to skip mark. And if you cannot push last, wait, like, bait the enemy, like, lose one or two players, bait the enemy into coming towards you. And they're gonna Uber versus Uber now from bottom, while two nuts just has an Uber here. I'm a little bit confused by the decision making so far, but brego has gone down though, so there might be something to work with here, Scully. And they take out a lot more people down, it's just Dallas Skeej left, and they are running back. Uh, I think there is a scout still left. Flisco's hiding. Let's go, he's hiding very much, but he's going to get spotted out straight away. Is he going to get spotted? Yeah, he does with no expense. So they, they have Dallop and they have Skeech left, so they are going to take this point. Uh, but the problem is, everybody but Flisco is getting forward respawn. So they can't push on again. And they are going to be as aggressive as they can, but again, 20% disadvantage. This, this, 20 is like a magic number for them. They take mm. Greg, oh my god, they take Dallop. 20%, that's a magic number for them all game. Because that's basically all I've seen. They've been 20% behind all the time. Yeah. 
No, the, the damage, I'm, I'm seeing people asking for stats. The damage and the kills are very much so spread amongst everyone. Because this is a round that pretty much goes all over the place. And that's what you usually see. Three for twos in the damage numbers from the top five. Flisco now going down once again. Sam's just gone down though. And it's a five versus five exchange. Both teams using their Ubers. I'm feeling skip mark here though. I don't necessarily know why I'm feeling it. But Kyler's already gone down. Kaden. And I think Crackland's just going to prove me wrong. If they take Cadus, that's going to be it. They managed to force Cadus off the hype beam. So that allowed them to get some space. And now going down Cadus. Now this is what they want because they can. Now they have to back out. Skip Mark's at the back out. Come on, a times seven versus the times two. There is no way that they can block this. Here comes the soldier trying to block it. Oh my god, he almost did. I am surprised he almost did. But now they've got to realize there's a scout behind. Probably not going to do much. Is there a scout? I think he ha I don't know where he's gone. The point is, is now. Yeah, Greg's on middle. The point is that nothing Greg can do, and he's just either going to have to try and find a respawn or just die. And now he's out of position, so they are going to find him. Are they going to stop him? Yep, they've met him, and they take Kyle. Oh, wow! They actually <laughs> took Kyler at the same time because they yeah. wanted to They wanted to try and contest and save him, so now they've lost both scouts. Wow. <laughs> Here comes a dot push straight away. Frisco goes straight down. There goes Cadus. The, the, the medic's behind him. It doesn't matter. He's trying all he can on his own. That's just, that is a key example of what happens when you get out of position when you try to do a back cap. Take your notes, ladies and gentlemen, especially Skidmark. That's how you dot push. That's how you use an advantage and push it. Ips went down. There was a six versus five with an Uber advantage. Skidmark taking some tea, taking it easy on the second point, not doing anything at that moment in time, getting punished for it by Crack Clan. And as soon as it happens the other way around, Crack Clan once again showing why they're the superior team at this moment in time. Four to one up, sixth middle now coming live. And so far the middles have mainly gone to the Reds. Yeah, they've mainly gone to, they've mainly gone to Skip Moth, but Crack Clan do find a way to defend, which I'm surprised at. And they just keep trying different things and no soldier bomb onto two. Onto two two knots this time, which could be crucial because they could lose their medic. Skeech could be going down here. Skeech is on his own with 76%. Are they going to hunt him? You know what? It's Twig. Of course he's going to hunt him. Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's the medic? Where's the medic? Where's the medic? Where's the medic? Anyone? 51. Five now. He's down. There you go. Timmy smelt blood and he wanted it. You made him sound more like a dog than a shark. But yeah, I understand your point. Yeah, I think that's the idea. It was the idea. <laughs> Where's the medic? Where's the medic? Oh, the medic? Christ Jesus. Good I can boy. actually see Tavik sitting in front of his screen actually doing that. Sort of like... <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can actually see that, right? Oh, God, that's terrible. Let's see Kirkland pushing here into last, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to look into make a 5-1 really, really, really quickly here. And we'll have to wait and see if exactly that is what's going to happen. First pick going in favor of Skidmark, though. Second and third immediately going in favor of the German soldier. Ips is going to be able to clean house. Hell, heavy comes out, though. And Kyler, can he actually do that? 230 HP. I doubt it, ladies and gentlemen. As Kyler and Dad, the last man standing, are going to get fragged. That we have a 5-1 to one scoreline now coming out of Crack Clan. Very, very well played so far by the people in blue. Yep, and you know what? I want to hear the comms again and just see if there's any boom booms going. Oh, Seriously, God. I think some boom booms are going to happen right now. Yeah. Hey, him on give middle. a fuck. What came from kitchen last night? Kitchen. Just pipes, we um... have to be a bit more faster on the follow up of T Max Bomb. The uh, motor bomb from kitchen. Tell me when you. Pretty good, it's getting red by Kadus. Go now, just make a jump. Walking forward now. Sorry, it's getting fucked. That's my rep. I'm getting fucked. No, because Missy, the illest. Are you out? Yeah, yeah. No! Oh! Scott behind. Come to me. No! Oh. Come to me. I don't know what happened, but I think Crackland lost it. Are we just gonna sing along, or are we not gonna do that? <laughs> that just shows overconfidence, though, yeah. isn't it? Just shows overconfidence. They don't care that they lost that middle, by the way. They don't give a rat's ass. They know they probably already won. We're gonna have to wait and see now, as we can see Skeeds and the rest of his men in red gonna be able to try and come in through this left tall room side. Let's see if we're going to be able to break through this one. Coming from the top sort of window side, Skeech himself. Oh, and he walks through to being sniper range. I actually thought that was a deadly move from the Dutch medic. Didn't end up getting fragged though. As right now, they're going to pick up the second point for free. Two nuts though. Has that Uber charge already free. available? Wasn't for free. They popped the Uber. 
Yeah. They popped the Uber for nothing, so that wasn't really a free. There goes Ives to a double straight onto Cadence and Skeech. That's who you want, and Kyla goes down as well. I'm pretty sure when the Uber was forced off during that, I'm pretty sure they can hold this. Get rid of the scout. I don't know where Flisco is. It does not matter where Flisco is. Flisco he's is hiding waiting for a bomb. Yeah, he's, he's hiding at the top door. He's waiting for a The pick. standard top door. You can be seen there, Flisco. If Yeah, okay, he moved a little bit to the side. Um, let's see. Yeah, immediately goes. It's a standard spot. Like everyone expects you there. Everyone always checks it, and you can see even though they're singing, Cracklin is still paying attention, right? And and, and that's a prem team. Their their sort of mechanics are so filtered into their system. They don't make mistakes, even though they're not focusing. They do everything purely and purely on just feeling and just whatever they've done in the past. I honestly thought that they were going to win it with all that singing. I must admit, I was quite surprised. Uh, again, it shows confidence, and really, I suppose if we look at it right now, it's not going to be singing because they know they've got their game faces on because they're just stepping it up. And maybe, you know, you, you laugh at this, maybe that's why they lost the mids. Because, of just their, because yeah. they were just still exuberating, celebrating from the, the last win, the, the last round win. So. That could be it. They are going to take mid, but they have lost a lot of players. And No, they haven't taken mid yet. They haven't taken mid oh yet. Oh, God, Greg. Come on, two nuts. Come on, two nuts. 94%. 94%. Pull out your soul. Pull out your soul. Dad, pull out your soul. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, come on. I mean, if anybody watching the stream right now, tell me if you would pull out the soul right there with 94%. Of course you would. Why not? That, that, that would have probably saved them the round. Greg took two arrows though, he almost took three. That would have been that would have been pretty funny if two nuts would have had hit three arrows there onto Greg. I we'll have to wait and see exactly what's gonna happen here as right now skip marks. They're looking good. They're looking good. Can they pick up a round here once again? And actually somewhat entertain us during this game as the round now not get picked up. And now it finally lost five two, ladies and gentlemen, on the board. Here on Vanilla TV, we don't have a lot of time left anymore though, Scully, so I doubt, I doubt, I doubt this could be a massive comeback. If it is though with four or so minutes left on the clock. That would be the comeback of the century. No, I thought we saw the comeback of the century last year with France versus USA. I I know it's doable. Was that, was, was that zero four to four four? I remember that. Oh, uh, it was something like that. I know, it, I know it's doable, but they need to win this and they need to win it fast. And the spam for ego is brilliant right now. It's probably telling me no. Look at the soldier aggression. Soldier can't even get across. Double soldier bomb to try and take out two nuts. And two soldiers to take out one player equals one thing. Two soldiers die. I just look at the aggression that the scouts, yes, the scouts were showing on that mid to save two nuts. Finally, they worked out what to do to keep two nuts alive. And that's hug him, hug him, hug him, hug the <laughs> Frenchie. That's oh, what you need to do. Christ, yeah, that sounds like a fantastic idea to do at that moment in time, as we can see both teams gearing up now for oh a God, massive jumping. fight around the second point here. There's a choke point area there that's about to get spammed to death, Scully. I can, I can tell you that. Ski drops to the floor. Ski, what are you doing? You need to be up there helping your players and stuff. As Tweek right now, 3 HP, Tweek goes down. And Kyler and Greg going absolutely mental so far. Greg has been involved in all three. Kyler's been involved in two. And it's a 3 for 0 exchange here coming out for the Reds. And they're going to be moving on to this one, Scully. This round is not over. This game is, though, sadly. But honestly, I want to see what's going to happen. I want to see Skipper picking up a couple of more rounds. Because these rounds, if you think about it, in a fight for fourth... In a fight for fourth, and I, 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 yeah, I can see the Ubers going on, yeah, I can see all that stuff happening, but you can also see that, like, the BFF team, the, the Skipper team, they're in a prime advantage here. They're going to clean this up. I could have told you that about an hour ago. If they don't, they're bad. Um, okay, they're not. I'm bad. Uh, as right now we can see, Greg is going to try his best in order to clean this one up, but it's not going to be enough. How did they not win that? I that was, that. like, a six versus four with everyone having more it health. How did it they was lose a six versus that? Three. It was a six versus three when they went in. I mean, I'm, I'm just... surprised that UCU put to try and block that. They must have known there were people about, but... I'm so how confused. You, how do you how do you know? Like, surely, that's just probably just saying, we've won the game, let's just do it. Because that was insane. Mm. You don't do that unless you know it's going to work. Let's I see. mean... It's two minutes running crit screen. I see that Uber going really pe past it now. People want comms. Not. People want comms. I'll tell you what, let's have some comms. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it for the, fi for the final push, right? Let's get charged, maybe. We have 85. Mm -hmm. Just got beat. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay, I'm coming. Yeah, now we go left. Go to. Really delayed. Wait, wait. No. I have. Yeah, Sam wasn't there. Sam doesn't need to be there. In Can we go now? Teammate, go now. Teammate. Uh, oh he's... fuck. And then. He's close on the right. Demo is took 111. I'm coming in Demo now. Demo set. Got the 70. 
I'm far. Get, get out, get out, get out, Tunis. Get out. Yeah, we get it, oh. we get it, we get it. Oh, they don't jump. They don't have to jump to point. Sorry, I don't forget. Sully was 18 and the other one was like 27 or something, they couldn't jump to point. <laughs> wow! Yeah, how did they do that? How did they do that? 106 points on two nuts, by the way, is one, something that I just noticed. I thought PK has run Crit Streak a single time, so 106 points with a minute left. He's gonna be reaching almost 110 without Crit Streak throughout the entire map. That is impressive, Scully. That is impressive. Oh, he stepped up tonight. He has stepped up tonight, no doubt about it. I'm really happy to see that. I mean, even with all these bombs that you're seeing right now, they're, they're gonna bomb him. They don't take him out. They're, look, it's, it's not working for them. So, this is just a throwaway round by the looks of it. It may yeah, yeah. we may could be, uh, but I am gonna say that, like, wow. Two Nuts stepped up tonight. Prego stepped up tonight. Mm. Crack kind of looking scary. Yeah, they're, they're, I'm not gonna lie, they're, as a team, Scully, they look like they're ready to go. This is the this is the number four basically from last season. This is a new team coming out that played the the so-called number five of the season yesterday and tied. They're going to be playing against these teams looking to get points and Crackland showing that they're better, showing that they're focused, showing that they're singing, and showing that they're going to win both maps with a five point difference as we have a 7-2, seven 7-2 two, seven two scoreline as Crackland's going to be able to pick that one up twice in a row on Gollywatch and Snakewater. Snake Snakewater actually not being a map they like very, very much. Either way, we're going to have to wait and see now as Crackland is going to move on to week number three. This is week number two, ladies and gentlemen, in ETF 12, season 15, powered by Blackout Gaming. And uh, from me and from Scully, I would like to say very much a goodbye. And, and to me, I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit emotional, Scully, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie, right. but I would like to see you guys next time uh, when we go live here at Vanilla TV, ladies and gentlemen. So stick around. Obviously, we're going to be back tomorrow evening, most likely. With him. I'm quite sure there's a game on tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure which one it there is. is. Um, but I'm not 100% sure which one. I think Arcs and Beats are going to be casting that. So obviously, stick around for that, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back with Vanilla TV with more action throughout the entire season at ETF2L Season 15, powered by Blackout Gaming. And obviously hosted here by Vanilla TV. From all of us here at Vanilla TV, it's been a fantastic evening. Please stay tuned for the rest of the season, and I'll speak to you guys later. Good night.